Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Catherine and um, I am the artistic director of Story is Connection. And um, I work with community, I work with international students and help them to tell their stories through creative storytelling. And that will do for now. I'll pass it over to Irene. Irene, you need to unmute yourself. So people, when you are not speaking, mute when you're speaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm the filmmaker on the project. Uh, and yeah, lovely to see everybody. I'll, I'll pass on to uh, the committee members. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ching. I'm the communication coordinator at SIG. So great to see all of you here today. Um, pass on to Juliet. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Juliet and I'm the lead graphic designer for SIG. Uh, now I pass on to Ivan. Thank you, Juliet. Uh, I'm Ivan. I'm the marketing co coordinator and event coordinator of SIG. And I'm also the participant of Nimble Project as well. Pass to Shanice. Hi everyone. I'm Shanice. I'm the administrative coordinator. And now I'll pass it on to Haran. Thank you, Shanice. Hello, everyone. I'm Haran Chen, and you can, you're so welcome to call me Haran, Abgel, whatever. And I'm also the marketing coordinator as well. And uh, feel free to like our Facebook page, which is uh, Story is Connection, and also join our Story is Connection public group as well. Yeah. So I'll pass to Fei Fei back. Well, now let's introduce some of the project participants as well. I'll hand over to Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Are Sorry. you? <laughs> That's why. I, I realized that I muted myself. <laughs> Uh, my name is Wendy. I um, went to Monash University and I was a previous participant of the um, BU Vising project. <laughs> now sick. Um, I'll pass it to um, Alfonso then. Uh, hi, my name is um, Alfonso. <laughs> um, I study at um, RMIT. I was also part of the BU Vising, which is the previous project. Um, I'll give it away to Maria now. Hello everybody, my name is Maria. I study in Melbourne Polytechnic and I was an uh, active participant in the BUBC project, uh, the same as Alfonso and Wendy, so very happy to be here. Okay. Hello. So now I think um, I'll explain a little bit about who we are and what we do. So Story is Connection has a, has a history. I myself have been working with communities for 30 years and have done projects with international students. And um, Gary, who's there, the city of Melbourne invited me uh, many years ago to develop a, a project within the city of Melbourne and from that we produced a project called Act of Translation. And that was a partnership with myself as an artist. Fei Fei was a participant and she became a project manager within that. And Irene created the documentary of the project. So shortly, we'll have a look at this a trailer of that documentary. And then that, that project went really, really well. And then we uh, moved on and collaborated with Esana and developed a project called BUB Scene and in that we um, met had many many international students participate in the workshops and we produced five scenes around issues such as mental health and cultural diversity accommodation cultural diversity I said that LGBTQI community we created scenes and we created a show called um, if I tell you the truth so we'll also have a look at uh, a condensed story of that on film shortly. 
Um, just to say something about our purpose, the purpose really is to give a voice to international students through being creative, having fun, connecting with each other. So we normally come together in a room, in a space, and we share stories, play games. Students don't come because they want to be an actor, but they end up acting. Even though they don't think they will, they do. And that process, that personal transformation of standing up, whether you're English, doesn't matter about your English, it's about the expression of yourself and the importance of that and the humanity of that. And that's our purpose, is to give everyone a voice. And for international students, particularly in this city, how can you belong? That's the main question. How can you feel like you're part of this community and while you're living here, feel vibrant, connected, be seen and heard that your issues are understood and that your voice is in the community. And that's what we try to do through the creation of performances and small films. So that's probably enough from me now. Also, there's other projects that we're working on, which is in with the Immigration Museum. It'll be the first time exhibition about international students. That will be a permanent exhibition. Again, a collaboration with City of Melbourne and the Immigration Museum. And we also, in the current throes of developing another project called Limbo about international students in COVID-19. But we'll see more about those two projects a little bit later. Now, we're going to look at the films, but when you see, after you've seen the films, in the chat box, can you just put a one word response, what you feel when you, when you watch it? No right or wrong, it's more of a response, what you feel. And then whilst everybody's typing their responses, I'll read them out and we'll just have a sense of what the response is. Then we'll have a Q&A with our participants, Maria, Alfonso, Wendy, and anybody else who's been part of those projects can answer your questions to them. Is that all cool? Is that all good, everyone? All understood? Fantastic. Okay, so um, over to Irene and the Act of Translation trailer. Thank you. It's coming. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I queued up the wrong thing first. Yeah, just want to check everybody is on speaker view, right? You can put stop up if, yeah. Okay, that's cool. And the chat box is at the bottom. My story uh, is about Congratulations! You've got an offer to study in Australia! We left our countries. Why? We are here now. Why? We really wanted something. What? I'll be bossy, but I'm on your side. I got there and they were doing weird stuff. <laughs> the work is ultimately about transformation. You start in one place in a journey and you end up somewhere else. I feel nervous. I spent a lot of money to come here. Oh, me? I'm from Iran. You so wish you could talk oh, with locals, but you don't know what to say. Now is your opportunity. My story uh, is about my coming out. Chinese society, they can't accept the gay issue. You can't end up feeling isolated. We don't have our families and friends here. My mom, I don't feel confident to tell her the things that I have to do here to get money and to survive. There is a reason for me to be in Melbourne and the reason is to find myself. I didn't feel like the funny guy or the black guy, I just felt like one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's all I am wanting. Great. 
thanks for that. So that's the trailer of Active Translation. You can see the full, full documentary um, online. And while I'm chatting, Irene's going to get the BBC project, mental health project ready, uh, mental health uh, scene ready. And then after that, we'll do comments and then have that Q&A. All right, ready to rock and roll, Irene? Yes, just lining up. One yes. sec. <laughs> We're all learning to be a little. Uh, well, just uh, changing screens. Yep. Okay. This crisis is really insane for international students. I'm fine, but there are days I'm not fine. We don't have any green screen. <laughs> Yes, I'm you know, we have nothing left but each other. <gasps> like the sensation of not being able to breathe properly, even though I'm not have the virus. But just keep looking at the walls, keep looking at my bed, keep looking at like the laptop screen. The biggest impact in for me is I can't co go back to the morning. An Australian woman, she just shouted at us, don't stay here, back to China like that. Um, my parents really wanted me to go home. My parents constantly call me, like, literally every day. They call me five times a day, studying. Thanks, Irene. That wasn't actually the film we meant to show, but that's okay. We were going to show that later. We, you just saw it. <laughs> yeah, we are supposed to show it a little bit later, but that's fine. So My oh. is Irene, that has been an issue on our end. I think our server just dropped out. Oh. Irene, are you ready with the BUB scene? Yes. Mental health yes. scene? Okay. Just letting everyone back in. I'll just give okay. that a moment. Okay. 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 <laughs> broke down because I, I okay I'm just saying many people yeah okay I'm just letting people yeah I'm just letting more people in Because I think there were like a 58, so it's a 56 now. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, as they say in, in the industry, <laughs> take, <laughs> take four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's okay. Right. Yeah. I'm about to share. Yeah. And please mute yourself. Oops. Um, I ring, I didn't hear the sound.
Irene, there's no sound. Uh, Welcome! Irene, we haven't got the image. greatest show on earth! Irene, there's no TV. image. There's no image and then there's no sound. We need both, <laughs> obviously. Sorry, everybody, it's coming. It's our limbo situation. <laughs> so uncertain. Okay, third time lucky. Welcome <laughs> to the greatest show on earth. Now you see me, now you don't. You remember when we together we were all playing. I know you're Sorry. feeling sad. It's okay. Why do you feel so empty? It's okay. You're crying for all people. It's okay. I will get my master. Just give me time. I know it hurts. Just breathe. I function in the daytime. And I cry every day. I'm not in bed because I'm sitting too hard. I'm in bed because I don't know how to get out. I can't think. I can't run. I'm gonna fail. I can't do this! Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. Reality. Please be nice to me. Nobody can relate to you. Why are you even here? What is your purpose, really? There's an advertisement at the back of the toilet, say. Counseling. Can I talk to someone in Mandarin? No. How no. for Just breathe. You're afraid people will leave you. Some people will stay. You feel what you feel. There's no right or wrong. A lot of memories are from your life. It was great to see you again. I know every issue they're talking about. Looking at the mirror. Well, I'm a little bit afraid. I can relate to all of their stories. It happened to me years ago, but I'm, I'm all good now. Thanks everyone. I hope you were able to see. Could, did people see it then? Did you hear and see it then? Okay. Can you want to just put some comments in the chat box and I'll read them out as you go. Just a feeling or response. Thumbs up and a heart. <laughs> Relatable reality. Just type away and I'll read them. Goosebumps, familiar, touched, great project, emotional. I could watch and hear, but it was touched. Emotional and beautiful, congrats. Creative, feeling the same when I, I guess what the end of that is, when I first came here. Creative, saw, loved it, touchy and beautiful. Terrific, the terrific situation. Supportive, impressive. I saw this in the theatre, it was touching, relatable, related. We need this. So touch. Such raw feelings. Feel the same. Okay. Looks like we might have stopped on feel the same. Brave. They are brave. <laughs> Empathy. Feel the same. Oh, feel the same. Maybe we should call the next project feel the same. Connection. Honest. I was moved. Authentic. Thanks for, telling our, thanks for telling our stories. Heartbreaking. Current ground reality. Heartbreaking. Compassion. I experienced the same feelings. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. It's great to have... Uh, I'm motivated to share my own story. Oh, wow. Motivate. Accept what we faced and spread love. Very nice. Oh, thank you, everyone. I'm sure. Keep your comments. Something most of us feel, but we don't voice it out. Well, that's why Stories Connection exists. <laughs> You've got it. That's exactly why we're here, because that's the sort of thing we want to do. So, 
Everybody, thank you. It's fantastic to get your feedback. So thank you for your generosity. Now it's time for Q&A. So we've got uh, many of the people, as you saw, Maria, Alfonso, Ivan, Wendy in the space, Heran, people who were in that performance, oh, Jing from the previous act of translation. Please ask a question. Spread kindness. Yeah. So over to oh. Q&A. Yeah, so just when you want to ask a question, so you can uh, unmute yourself and you can put a reaction and put a thumb up so we know that you want to ask a question. And I'll call your name, okay? Yeah. Yeah. When, when I see, I'll just sort of say, and then you ask the question and someone will answer you. Off you go. Don't be shy. Any question, nothing's off the table. Let's say you can't ask that sort of session. You can ask whatever you like. Uh, I see you, Ka, and Yisu. Oh, Catherine, there are three pages. So you oh. might have to... Oh, I can't see the three pages. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Maybe you do it, Fifi. You call the people. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, you, Ka, you may unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, how often do you have this uh, workshop? Currently, sorry, currently, just practically speaking, we don't have a workshop, but we're developing the concept of some online workshops. So if you register, we'll let you know when we're available to do an online workshop and when we can start again with real workshops lifetime. Uh, we'll okay. talk about our Limbo project later. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So you mean you are doing this workshop in online? We hope to, Yuka. That's our aim. We don't have it yet, but if you let us know your interest, when we've got it available, we'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Gary, you heard it. <laughs> um, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Isu, you also uh, put up your hand, so you may yeah, unmute yourself. Thank you. Hello, thanks for uh, sharing this great project. Um, I'm just very curious, um, how did you guys uh, come up with this concept? And this, because I think this is a very creative way and kind of telling international students story. Um, so I just wanted to know how does this project start? Um, the project has a long history, uh, as in, um, like I said before, there's the active translation story, uh, active translation project that we did with City of Melbourne. And that was really like the foundation in the City of Melbourne to, to create a space where students can come together to share their stories. It's based on my practice of working with communities to help them share their stories, people who are not actors. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. Yes, please ask, please ask our participants questions. The people who are in the project, like you said, feel the same. Ask them. Uh, just now I noticed that uh, Lily Newkin put up a reaction. So Lily, if you'd like to ask your question. Oh, yeah. Um, can you guys hear me? Yep. Oh yeah. Um, so first, thank you so much for organizing such amazing project for international students. Um, my question is for both the teachers and the international students who involved in this project. So, what are some biggest lessons that you have learned from uh, from doing this project? Thank you. Let's hand it over to Wendy, Alfonso, Maria, uh, others to answer this. Off yeah. you go. Ivan, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll jump in and answer. Um, there are a lot of lessons that we learned, but I guess the first thing I learned that is that it's okay to be vulnerable. Uh, before I participated in this uh, project, I was very used to just sweep all of my emotions under the carpet and not tell anybody about my internal truth, even though it will create a lot of uh, emotional distress. But that's what I was used to because I thought nobody would listen and nobody would really care. Um, and 
um, after joining this project, I realized, well, there are people in the community that care, and especially those who have the similar life experiences, um, which are many, um, because I think many international students shared similar experiences, and it's okay to um, share with these people what I am going through internally and it's a very very therapeutic experience. Um, so telling people and running that support actually would help um, deal with emotional stress and uh, improve my mental health. And also the second lesson is just the um, the courage to speak up. So not only do we have weekly um, private gatherings um, of project participants, we also bring the performances to public stages and uh, just like today. And uh, it's a very empowering uh, experience um, to be able to tell our stories in front of the public and to um, just let the community know uh, what it's really like to be an international uh, student because I think there are still a lot of um, stigma, not, not, not stigma, so to speak, but imagination about international students being, uh, for example, uh, from very affluent families that we came to Melbourne just to have fun and uh, we don't have that much struggle um, given that we are uh, rich enough to come to uh, Melbourne uh, or that we should be able to speak perfect English. Um, there are a lot of uh, imaginations about uh, lives as international students. I think to um, address that, it's very important for us to bring these stories to a public stage and um, to let people know what the reality is and um, what difficulties we face so that we are able to, um, I think, um, attract people who um, are willing to help students um, with a lot of participants like myself after performances have gained uh, opportunities of um, networking with um, professionals in our field or um, to uh, participate more in community uh, activities to feel more engaged and more integrated into the local community. So it's a, it's a ripple effect and um, these, um, this positive influence has ripple out in my life continuously ever since I participated in this project. Um, so that's all for me. Um, if anybody wants to add, then yeah, I'll pass it to the next person. Thanks for sharing, Wendy. That's beautiful, said someone. So Fifi, I think it's best you see people because unfortunately I can't see everyone. So is anybody else want to ask a question or add to what Wendy said? Uh, we've got a few questions in the chat if you like oh, to move on to those. You take over, Shiana, so you do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so we have a Ram Prasad Acharya. I'm so sorry if I got it wrong. And they've asked, what is the final purpose of this workshop? Final purpose of this workshop today or in general? Can that person please qualify? Do you mean just today or in generally speaking? In general, oh, in general. In general, the purpose of the workshops really is to build, uh, to create a space that builds the confidence for international students to share something about who they are, about their life, what they want, what their struggles are, and to connect with other students. So you build community. From my experience, obviously I'm not an international student, but most students that I've listened to have the aspiration of traveling to another country, meeting students from other cultures, and getting into a really vibrant life. But many people don't experience that when they come here, they want that. But by default, because of stress, they end up speaking ending up with the people of their own community. No, it might not be what they expected. And somehow I think our work creates that space. The workshops create a space that bring people together from diversity because there's no, there's no uh, audition or selection process. Anybody's been welcome, just the, the need to participate. And it's about building community, like Wendy said, through sharing your vulnerability uh, not just your strength and your professional professionalism, 
You know, that idea of professionalism can become a mask. And in lots of ways, this workshop is about taking off the mask and learning to share. And that builds community. So that's the purpose of the workshops, which enable you to be able to then tell those stories. My role to help direct you, you tell me what you want to say. I help direct you in the telling of that so that it can speak to a, a wider public, like Wendy said, and make an impact. Go beyond the stereotypes of what people think international students are. Thank you, Catherine. We may only have time for one more question, but please feel free to um, put your questions in the chat box. So our committees will collect all the questions and then we will answer all of your questions later on um, because we we need to move on, still have some agendas. So can we have the last, very last, lucky last question, you know, burning question for our participants? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Xing yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. So thank you, Catherine, Iron, and Feifei for um, providing this opportunity for us to share our stories. And to be honest, I'm, it's a very challenging time for me in this COVID situation because I just commenced my university study this year. So I have to study um, in China now because of the travel ban. So um, at first I felt very nervous because I never studied online and, and I, I was wishing to um, enjoy my uni life in Australia to, in, to in get engaged in the community and meet more friends. But um, I got really upset and a lot of students just like me, they chose to um, travel through the third country to went back to Australia, which is really dangerous. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, but I didn't choose that, that option. So I studied externally this semester. But what I found surprise is, surprising is, is the, uni, the university really provided a lot of help for us international students. Like, you know, the past session, peer assisted study session, and they uh, arranged these sections online so we can still um, get the equal opportunity and resources just as the internal students. So, um, and also some uh, study at, um, I, I mean, st um, I'm in Adelaide. I studied in Adelaide. So in Study Adelaide, this community provides some, a lot of events online to enrich our uh, uni life. So um, I just want to say I've, I've, um, I feel very lucky to uh, have this opportunity to share my stories. Um, yeah, so, um, and uh, I also feel a lot of uncertainty at this period about my future. Uh, you know, I don't know when the travel ban will li is will lifted in the future, and when I can come to Australia um, to uh, continue my study. But um, I'm still confident that uh, uh, in the future I, I will have more opportunity. Um, yes, and so happy to today here to meet all you guys. And I really hope to join your um, your workshops online. Yes, working on that. <laughs> working yeah. on that. So thank now, you. thank you for sharing. Now yeah. I think it's time for Catherine to facilitate a bit of uh, activity, so you can get some sense of you know to to. <laughs> One, one of the one of the challenges is um can you just help me everybody technically how can i see the three pages sorry about this because i only see one page how uh, do i you see have to scroll so to yes. the right or the left to the right and left yeah uh. <laughs> it's yeah. not anyway it's not scrolling don't worry we'll deal with that later <laughs> can you 
uh, maybe for uh, five minutes because we yeah, I just do it listen everybody does everybody have a pen there I just want to have a little go of trying to balance a pen on your finger like can you balance everyone balance a pen on your finger and if it falls just try and keep it balanced Catherine can you use a spoon you can use whatever you like <laughs> You just try and keep that in the balance, okay? That's all we want to do is try and balance that pen. Oh, you're a little bit too easy. <laughs> Ivan, you're not balancing anything. So take it close to the camera and Irene, try and take a screenshot. Oh, that's good. Sunglasses. Balancing. Got it? Everybody balancing. Oh, you're a bit too easy, isn't it? Okay. And let it fall off <laughs> so just that's an introduction to the project we're currently working on which is limbo that irene accidentally shared a little of before which is about the impact of international students in COVID 19 look at jing she's still balancing that pen because in limbo in the state of limbo is how do you find that balance in yourself between the uh, Jing, Jing, what you just shared, Jing, Jing Yi, is it Jing Yi? Yes, what, it's Jing Yi. Yes, that's Jing right. Shared, and many international students can share about their challenges. But we're also looking, how do you find the balance? And we're looking for crazy images of how international students can find that balance. And we're going to make a film. So we will talk to you more about that in the book at the end. For now, can somebody give me an action? with your hand or your head, just some movement. And I'm gonna call it action number one. Somebody make a movement. All right, Michael, can everybody copy Michael? Everyone copy Michael, that's action one, okay? Everyone got action one? That's action one, fantastic. Somebody else give me an action. If I can't send everybody, um, everyone just copy whoever that person is. Action two, is that number two? What's action two? Ah, that, all right, action two. All right, action one. One. Two. All right, somebody give me a third action, a bit different, something different with the head or... Ah, oh, all right, is that an action? That's action three. Action three. Action two. Action one, three, one, three, one, two. All right, somebody give me, give me action four. Is it this? Action four, all right, ready? Four, a silent scream, everybody, action four. One, four, one, four, two, three. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the fifth action, we have one more, number five, last action. What's the number five? Who's going to give me something? Oh, what's that? I think they've got this. Is this five? I can see this. Is that it? All right. Everybody, your pretend beard. <laughs> All right. One. Three. Two. Five. Four. Five, one, three, five, two, one, five, four, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so that's just a little, I just, we're not doing much, but in terms of the work, if we were live together, we do those things together live. In this space, we can muck around. We normally share stories and play games and share stories. We don't have time to share everybody's story today, but hopefully if we 
have the capacity to develop, we'd like to be able to share international student stories. That's why we do this work. So in terms of limbo, one last thing, can you go to the chat box? And when I say the word limbo, what does it mean to you? If you don't know what it means, get your dictionary in your uh, language and have a quick look. There's no right or right or wrong answers. What is limbo to you in this COVID-19 time? Just write things and I'll read them out. To go crazy. Nothing, no right or wrong. I'm sure about everything. Limbo means uncertain to me. Just go for it. Just write all crazy stuff, anything. What next? <laughs> Um, Catherine, uh, for everybody, I'm wondering whether you want to watch the... Smart, flexibility, all horrible ideas, everything on hold. I have a, a lot of plan and have to stop getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. Great stuff, everyone. Forgotten. Wow. Great words. Keep going. Restart. Being forgotten. Wow. Full of life. On the edge, Ooh. everything is possible. A stagnant situation, wavy. Maybe we can show limbo film again. Oh, that's biffy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering whether it was- Space outside of space, new opportunities. Renewable, ah. Life is full of stress and pressure. Be positive. Okay, everyone, stop. That's fantastic, undecided, love it. Now I want you to go to the chat box and I want you to write, what do you do that helps you to shift out of that, that difficult feeling? What's something positive or how do you manage? Some people write sticky notes. What do you do? Just write, urgency. Limbo means experiencing the crisis externally, internally. Netflix, walking, six plus six, driving out, planting priorities, walk in the park, walking, friends. I keep learning new skill, reflection and learning new things, doing exercise, my job, sleep, running, talking with my whole household and playing bowling, alcohol, online chat with friends, meditation, <laughs> cooking, food, eating, YouTube, hug dogs, <laughs> watching people and pigeons on the street, fantastic, painting, peanut butter on toast, music and basketball, Housemates, let yourself out of this area, sleeping for 10 hours every night. Ukulele, hug other people's dogs. <laughs> Coffee, drawing, talking to old friends. Oh, wow. Everyone, let's vent now. Yelling, my, yelling by myself, laugh out loud. Jackbox games. Zoom gatherings. Hi, Catherine. Coffee. Sorry. Uh, sorry, everybody. Can you keep typing in the chat box? But we only have three minutes left for oh, this. Oh, all right. Over to Fifi. Thank you, everybody. That is brilliant. Love yeah. to hear your voice. Uh, Eric, oh, sorry. Can you quickly share the screen? So just in case people want to keep in touch with us. So don't lose contact with us. You know, after the session, we still want to connect with each other. We'll quickly go through something we've talked about, Erin. Yeah, and you can still keep commenting. We're not reading it out, but we will collect all the stuff you've said in the chat box. So you can still continue typing. Okay, well, I'm sorry, everybody. I think you saw the Limbo film. So that's a little bit of that. So that, that's a project that we did, and then we're going to further that with this next Limbo project. And then um, also we have another big project coming on, which is going to be at the Immigration Museum. Um, and uh, uh, that's something to look forward to as well. So watch the space and that's, and that's will be appearing. And I'll just go through some slides quickly that uh, Fei Fei put together and then, and then you'll see some information panel. Yeah, we will put up the links uh, in the chat box as well. So this is uh, one of the action show from Active Translation. Um, can you move to the next slide? Yeah, this is uh, when we have the photo with 
Stanley Cap, the Lord Mayor from uh, at the City of Melbourne, we received the Multicultural Award for Excellence. So that's recognized as community innovation. I close my eyes, but anyway. Um, next slide. <laughs> yeah, that's me and Joe and also Terry from City of Melbourne when we received the award at the Governor House, and that was the painting of all of our performers and also Catherine and everybody else. And the play is called She'll Be Right. So that's my paint, a little uh, family there. And this is the Immigration Museum installation we talk about. So that's about the stereotypes. So that will be out uh, later, possibly in September. We'll keep you updated. So follow our social media, follow our channel. So we will be able to update you when it's out. And then you can go to visit. Hopefully, at that time, we will be able to immigration film. And this is some contact details. So my name is Fei Fei Liao. You can search me everywhere, Facebook, <laughs> or you can add me. And there's my email, Fei Liao dot uh, at storyconnection.com. That's my email address. You might get a screenshot or we will share this on our social media as well. So for all of our social media, it's a story, is connection. You will be able to get all the um, updated information. And also our committees will send the link for registration expression of interest to get updated when we're going to launch our film. And also we are known for and want us to run more workshops. You want us to do fantastic projects continue to support international students. Please, please donate to us, support us, and if you want to collaborate to talk about projects, so you can also contact me as well. And please share what you, you heard today and what's your feelings and also act on social media. So that's a way to support us as well. And to share any, you know, your teachers, your uni, anybody to check on our website to support us. And then we are looking forward to see all of you again in the Limbo Film Launch. And that's a party. And hopefully we can meet somewhere in a physical space, you know. We can do the proper screening in the future. Yeah. And I think that's what I'm up. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you all for participating. It was fantastic to be online with you today. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Bye everyone and thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Thank yeah. you. And you can you can can we all unmute and clap all together. Unmute all yeah, unmute all of you unmute and clap. Together. And thank you for all the international students who been sharing their stories and feelings. Really grateful. Great responses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.